the best gaming protagonist ever. Arthur Morgan, the lead character in the video game Red Dead Redemption 2, is the best video game protagonist in gaming history. His journey as a character has left a big impact on my life and I will explain the reasons why. His morals were on the ground, so the only way is up. Arthur Morgan began the game as a low honor outlaw who had no reason to demand respect from the general population. He was a criminal who would rob banks, collect debts for his gain, and kill innocents if they were in the way. Arthur was the furthest thing from being seen as an inspiring protagonist. His loyalty was only to the gang. Arthur had only one thing on his mind, that was to provide and protect the people that were part of the gang he was in. That was his reason for life. He had nothing outside of the gang to care for. His loyalty to the gang leader Dutch Vanderlyn was his most dominant trait in the beginning of the game. He was closed off from being vulnerable. Arthur's time in the gang started when he was just a young boy. He had no father to teach him how to be a true working man. Because of this, the harsh environment he was raised in turned him into a silent, tough outlaw who only knew how to survive by doing crimes for his gang. Once he got sick, he had a change in terms of his morals. Once Arthur got sick from TB, he had to do a deep analysis of his character. He didn't do a quick 180 life change, but slowly he was able to realize the areas of himself that he had to take care of. He knew which people he had to apologize to and how he had to start treating people with kindness. Arthur started to forgive debts and would even give people who owed him money his own money. He would give to the poor or donate to charity. He would even help people with their work, for example, helping a family build a house. He never stopped caring for his gang. Even though he had a sickness, he never forgot about his people. He continued to remain loyal and would still do their dirty work, albeit trying his best not to be as ruthless. He became more open with his vulnerabilities. When Arthur did his character introspection, he came to terms with his feelings. He started to share his thoughts with his gang members and even became open to sharing with strangers. One of these strangers was Sister Calderon. In one of the greatest cutscenes in all of gaming, Arthur opens up to Sister, talking about his upbringing, his past sins, and his failures in life. Then he tells Sister how he is afraid. In my opinion, I believe he is afraid of death. Not necessarily the actual process of dying, but instead what dying means for his life. A life where all Arthur has done is live for a gang that made him an outlaw who committed many unforgivable crimes in the public eye. Then Sister Calderon tells him not to be afraid and instead to take a chance that love exists and do a loving act. And that is exactly what Arthur does for the remainder of the game. And his greatest act of love was giving up his life so that John, the protagonist of Red Dead 1, could go on to live a better life. And if you are a Christian like I am, you would know how the Bible mentions that there is no greater act of love than when someone gives up their life for another. Just thought I mentioned that because I found it cool. His kindness left an impact in the world. Arthur's kind acts left an impact in the world of Red Dead, and the scene where Arthur is riding back to camp. Flashbacks played during the ride where dialogue lines come up from the people who Arthur had helped and everyone seems to be praising Arthur, and in their eyes he is seen as a good man and not an unforgivable outlaw. One of the dialogue lines that really inspired me was when John J. Weather, a man who Arthur forgives his debt, says, you know, there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. I don't know about you, but this line really hit me in the heart, because even though Arthur started the game as a terrible man, in the short amount of time he had left in his life, his small acts of kindness left the mark on the people he interacted with. And this really does inspire me to just treat whoever I meet with humility, a humble heart, and hospitality, because you never know how much a kind word or act can mean to someone. Arthur's kind character determined who he was. Arthur's kindness is what defined him. Not all of his past mistakes, not his failures, and not his fears. Instead, it was the love he had for his family and the amazing and generous words and acts he left to the people he met within the short amount of time he had left. He gave all he had towards the end. He was always loyal to the ones he loved. He started with loyalty and he left the world of Red Dead with loyalty. He never lost his love for the people in the game, even Dutch, who decided to turn his back on Arthur 
Arthur gave all his strength he had to Dutch because he always had love for the man. Arthur was never perfect, but he was a man who could change. Even though Arthur was not a perfect man, he became a good man in the end. A man who could be respected and praised for the things he did in the last moments of his life. Because of Arthur's resilience, loyalty, and hospitality, Arthur impacted the way I see life. Arthur is a great protagonist because of his realism. He was a human who had flaws and lived a life that could be deemed as unredeemable. Although, by analyzing himself, the place he was in in life, and the time he had left to live, Arthur was able to grow into a great man that changed plenty of people's lives in the world of Red Dead. Arthur's story and character arc are the reason why I believe that he is the greatest video game protagonist in gaming history.